Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a pop-up on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see add apps. Once you have tapped on add apps, I want you to scroll down and at the bottom of the page you are going to tap on Shopify App Store. After tapping on Shopify App Store, you will be redirected to a new page and from here you are going to tap on the search bar at the top and you are going to type in pop-up discount. After typing in pop-up discount, you can see numerous apps that you can use. But the app that I would recommend for this example would be Ecom Send Pop-ups. So we are going to tap on that. And the reason why we are using this app is because it is completely free and you can see that it is also highly rated as it's at five star ratings and you can see that it is being used by numerous persons. So the next thing you are going to do is tap on add app. After tapping on add app, you will be redirected to a new page. And on this page, all you'll need to do now is tap on install app in the top right hand corner. And after you have tapped on install app, you will be redirected to the dashboard of the Ecom Send app. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And from here, I'll be showing you how to create your first pop-up for your Shopify store. So you can see right here, we are in Ecom Send. Now all you'll need to do is simply tap on Enable App Embed. Once you have done that, you're going to open up a new page, the editors page. So you can see right here. And from here, we'll be able to enable the new app that we are installing. So you can see right here. So it is enabled. So all you'll need to do now is tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once it has been saved, you're going to go back into this dashboard. Then you're going to tap on create pop-up then tap on create pop-up again and after you have done that you can see that you have two pop-up styles so you can either use the rectangle right here or you can use the spin to win spin to win template better yet then you are going to tap on create pop-up after you have done that you can see right here you can change the name if you want after you have changed the name you can scroll down and you can change the rewards also. All you'll need to do is tap on edit beside the reward that you would like to change. As you can see right here. And you can change any one of the rewards. Then you are going to scroll down and you'll see the option sticky discount bar. So if you would like to display the sticky discount bar you can tap on show. Also you'll see the option sidebar widget. Display a sidebar widget if the customer declines the pop-up without subscribing. So if you would like to do that, you could tap on show. Then also, do you want the pop-up to be displayed on all devices? Or do you want it to only show up on desktop or mobile? You can select all devices or you can select desktop or mobile. Then you are going to scroll down and you can see show on timer. So you can decide whether you like it to show immediately. Or you'd like it to show after three seconds after five seconds you can decide or if you would like it to show after the customer is scrolling or when they are trying to exit the page you can select any one of these three options then you'll see the option frequency and this would be the number of times the pop-up will show on browser for non-subscribe customers based on selected time so would you like it to show every time anyone visits or limit the frequency? You have two options. You can select anyone. I'll leave it at every time anyone visits. Then you can see the page rules. Would you like the pop-up to be shown on all pages or only on specific pages? So if you want it to be shown only on specific pages, you can tap on show on specific pages. But if you want it on all pages, you can leave it right there. Then you'll see location rules. Do you want the pop-up to be shown in any country or only in certain countries? 
you can select any one of those options then the rules schedule rules show for all time show between a time period you can select any one of these options if you select show between a time period so let's say you're running this pop-up only for seven days you can select the seven days right here when you would like to start it and when you want it to end so if you are running some type of special on your shopify store you can add the time right there but for now i'll select show for all time once you are finished you are going to tap on content then from here you can see form so if you would like to add something more you can tap do that right here as at the moment only thing they'll need to do is fill in their email address then tap on claim discount if you would like to also collect your customer's name you can do that or if you would like to add another field you can do that and you can see the actions right here you can change the actions if you want and if you also want to change the text that is right here you can do that by typing in this box right here then scrolling down you can also change the heading and you can also change the description and if you would like to do any other editing you can do that also by scrolling down if you would like to change the arrow text or so on you can do that once everything is still liking you are going to tap on style in the top right here and if you would like to add your store logo you can do that right here if you would like to align it to the center or to the left or right you can do that and you can scroll down and if you would like to add an image you can do that also if you would like to change the background color of the pop-up so let's say we want to change the background color to yellow you can do that by simply tapping on yellow right there so that would change the background color so if you want it to change you'll simply tap on the color that you like to change it to then you are going to simply tap on save and you can also scroll down if you like to change the wheel color you can do that if you like to change the text color you can do that once everything is to your liking all you'll need to do now is simply scroll back up then once you have scrolled back up you are going to simply go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on preview this pop up and once you have tapped on preview this pop-up you can see how it looks right here and that's it so all we'll need to do now is go back to our main page right here and you can simply tap on back once you have tapped on back you'll be redirected to this page and you can see it right there and if you'd like to make any further changes you can tap on customize and to publish the pop-up or for it to go live all you'll need to do is toggle it on right there then tap on close and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you very much for watching